so maybe today you can see it better this is the view that i have from the hotel just a regular neighborhood the lake is to the left so today I'm, we are going to check that out good morning everybody today we have a rainy morning and i just head out of the hotel i want to take a look at the lake and then we will continue to the city center to have some breakfast so wrong direction I have three hours to explore the city before I need to check out so I'll try to do as fast as I can this must be really nice in summer whoa it's slippery I'm thinking that basically we follow the Rhine one way or the other we end up at the point where the, the Rhine ends i think it ends if the lake is fed by the rhine it must end here i want to see how cold is the water yeah nice for a swim oh and by the way on the other side it's uh, switzerland there's probably some boat that takes you to the other side but I think it's more in the summer. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen any boats. Maybe they are not operating. The city center is dead. But yeah, it makes sense. It's not even nine. There's a bakery open. Those are always open. I consider some pastry or some bread, but I don't feel like it. I want maybe a yogurt or a fruit. So the only thing I saw open is a uh, backberg. So I'll go there and get the uh, coffee to go. I have a feeling that the weather might be a bit unpredictable here. I woke up with rain, then it was windy. Now it seems that the sun wants to come out. That thing there that we are heading to visit is called Molenturm, which translates to um, pier tower or something like that. The tower of the pier. It's really slippery. I'm surprised there's no admission fee to go up. All right. What a view. Oh, there are ships going out. I don't know if you see it, but you can also carry your car. So if you're traveling by car and you want to cross from Switzerland to Germany or from Germany to Switzerland, you can do it. I really hope the sun comes out. It's trying really hard, but the sky is so cloudy that my hopes are scarce. And this concludes the visit to the Pier Tower. So I was looking what else to do and noticed that there's a Zeppelin Museum. But unfortunately, it's closed today. It will open tomorrow. And it's really a shame. I never saw a Zeppelin. So it seems that the museum, the pier tower where we were before, the promenade, the lake, are the highlights. I haven't seen anything else. But there must be something else. Looks nice for a photo. I still have like more than an hour before checkout. I came that way this morning. So a lot of things around. Bars, pubs, mini golf, other kind of restaurants. But everything is closed. 
some building here is called Zeppelin House. I think you get the idea, right? If you come here, go to the Zeppelin Museum. They are pruning the tree. Okay, so I want to see one more thing and then I'll head back. Oh, come on. It's under maintenance and it's closed. Not in that specific order. So it seems this and the promenade next to it is part of a palace. And this is part of the perimeter, perimeter wall of the palace. I think it's closed though. It's Monday, don't expect anything to be open. Honestly, Mondays should be cancelled. They are the worst day of the week. Okay, so this is actually open. What? This is a winery and there's a wine machine. You can actually purchase a bottle here. That's a first. Okay, and what's the price? Oh, 8.50, 10, 15. This is interesting. Yeah, maybe some other time. I'm not going to buy wine now. I think they also have some cider. I'm not entirely sure, but you see those small boxes? I think they are houses for bats. Okay, there's the train station. Remember that we have some rules. First, jump on the first available train. Second, that train must not go back. Third, the train must not go too far. I still need to be able to come back in a few days. And there's a four rule. No, I think it's those three for now. I'm confused. The train should depart from four or five. There are no more platforms here. Maybe I misread. Damn it. I miss it. And I miss the other one too. Okay, the other one went to Stuttgart, so I don't care. But I could have taken the other one. Okay, I have one more option. What time is this one departing? Oh, it's about to depart. So it seems there were three trains departing. 1103, 1105, and 1107. This is the 1107 train. I missed the other two. I got confused because I misread. It seems the trains were not from platform 4 and 5, instead 2 and 3. I ran, but I didn't make it. So yeah, I'm going to... Um, I don't know, actually. I need to check. It seems I'm going to... Lindau Insel. I'll be there in about half an hour. I know nothing about this uh, city. I'll do some research. Look what we are. I decided to stay because I thought it was really interesting to be in this peninsula. Are we in the Bayern region? I think I saw that the lighthouse was a highlight. I guess this is another summer friendly city. It is quite dead. There's no one around or barely any people and the weather doesn't help. No doubt that this is a lovely town. It must be really nice in summer, a bit more alive, more things open. I might spend the night here must be nice to wake up and take a early morning stroll along the promenade. I'm 
maybe the lighthouse is closed, but you have a super spot here. Especially if you want to take photos. Look at the water. It looks quite clean. You can see through. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Listen for a moment. Notice how quiet it is. I think I finished walking the shoreline. This town is really nice. I'm liking it so far. There are a few things that I haven't figured yet, for example lunch and where I'm going to spend the night. I still don't know if I'm going to go to a hostel or a hotel and for lunch I thought about having something local. And there's a condition for the hotel or hostel, I need a place to work. So having a late checkout like at noon would be perfect. And then I will need to find a place where I can work because my my work schedule is from 7.30 to 4. So I need to be able to work for all that time. If I manage to stay at the hotel at, until 11, 12, that would be perfect. And then I can go to a cafe. This one looks like a Dutch building. Maybe it has some inspiration. Okay, so I already got a pretty good idea about the city, so I guess I will find a place to eat and while I eat, I'll figure what, where I'm going to be staying. Yeah, okay, I thought it was a church, but it's actually a memorial to Lindau soldiers fallen during World War I. And I'm back to the train station. I haven't stopped for lunch yet. Maybe I'll get something at the Rewe. While I was inside the Rewe, the sun came out. Now it's getting warm. I bought the uh, yogurt. I like these ones because they are high protein. So I was seeing that Lindau is actually a bit more than this, just this island. So I'm going to take a train to explore the other part. So if you leave this uh, little island and you get other hotels and it's a different kind of landscape. Um, and there's a McDonald's. So if I stay on the other side, I mean outside the island, I could even have a McDonald's to work tomorrow at least for a few hours. Okay, so I thought about taking the train initially, but I realized that it's only 30 minutes away, so I'm going to walk there. And the idea is to book a hotel uh, outside the island. Uh, it seems that they are going to be cheaper and they are include breakfast. I also have the McDonald's closer, so I can walk tomorrow. So, I'm about to cross the bridge and leave the island. I saw some hotel at about 60 euros or 70 euros, including breakfast. And 
yeah it's not the most cheapest one i'm trying to save some money but the hostel in the city center i mean in the island was around 60 euros uh, for a share uh, dorm so i'm not going to save only 10 euros to share a dorm and not have breakfast so yeah i rather have the hotel the breakfast for 10 extra euros and of course the comfort because i don't have to share my room with anyone else the day is really nice the sun is out or almost out and it's warm in the day i have my jacket open i'm going through the park i'm going to eat my yogurt here this is a good spot it's a bit wet but i can dry this oh here it's not wet nice view look the mountains they have snow you can see at the top of those they are just right in the middle where I'm pointing the camera okay so there's the station from here is 20 minutes to the hotel I think the hotel might have a view to that uh, mountain okay I'm really close and at the right time because my battery is about to die and of course there had to be a hill yeah I'm just complaining because I'm a bit tired but it's not that bad hello I have a reservation Great, my room was ready beforehand. Oh wow, nice view. Cool. These are things that I never check on hotels, so they are always a surprise. Nice bed. Everything is a bit retro. I kind of like it. Oh, there's Mingar. Oh shit, this could be a problem. Uh, temptations the shower let me turn the light on and over there is a light Where is the light? Here? Well, there's power. It has to be that one. I think it's not working. Oh, I'll have to tell them. But I don't want to be... I want to look like an idiot. I want to find out if the switch is not here, but it doesn't look like it's here. There's one light there. And that's the only light in the room. Oh, shit. And there's a phone here. Yeah, I'm going to call reception. Okay, I got the lake view and a garden view. That's nice. Oh, and I couldn't call reception. The number is not there. I will have to walk there. Not the best, but acceptable. Let's see the upload speed. Okay, I think for a few hours of work it should be enough. Okay, so it's a bit tricky. You have to kind of press it and fill a bit with it and then it will work this whole hotel they have barely any power outlet I can't charge anything here neither there that's the only power outlet and that one oh, it's going to be annoying if I want to lay down in the bed and to watch a movie or something I won't be able to 
well I'm able to but that's at, as long as the battery lasts that's so annoying mostly inconvenient yeah we don't provide power outlets but we provide welcome gummies thank you so I went out to explore a bit the area oh and by the way it's almost 4 30 I spent like two hours at the hotel chilling I took a shower which I really needed and then I just lay down read something that's a small park I wonder if these are pines that are grown for Christmas I don't think someone is going to plant a forest here and the trees are perfectly aligned so probably they are planted now and for the next uh, Christmas season you have your trees ready to be sold I like to have these night walks Hello 